So several people have written to ask whether or not you could change out the ring terminals on the trap battery uh, unit. And the answer is yes, you certainly can change the ring terminals. You just want to get some that are compatible with the wire. This is a 12 gauge GXL wire. So you want to make sure that the ring terminals fit the wire properly. So what I have here is the original ring terminal. This one has a hole of a quarter inch. And then I have another one here that has a, a hole of about 0.41 inches. So the units come with these quarter inch ring terminals, which I found worked well on most vehicles. But some vehicles have heavy duty batteries that have uh, larger lugs that you need to attach to. And so I thought I'd go ahead and do a quick video to show how you swap out the ring terminals on the Trap B. So the first thing you do is you would cut off the old ring terminal. And I've put marine grade uh, heat shrink around it, so you'll have to cut at the base of the heat shrink. So you just take yourself a, a pair of cutters or strippers and cut off at that point. All right, so it will make the unit a little bit shorter, but they're seven inches for each side, which is typically much longer than you need for your battery anyway. And then you would strip the wire, being careful not to cut any of the strands of wire when you do that. And you strip it back about a quarter of an inch or so, and you have to get a good solid cut. This wire is meant to uh, withstand harsh conditions under a vehicle. And so you wanna make sure you get it nice and clean and that you don't have any cuts on the metal. All right, so once you get it stripped back, then you're going to take the, the heat shrink and you're going to place it over the wire. Just get it out of the way. Now, if you forget that, it'll be, you'll have to cut it back off because you won't be able to fit the heat shrink, obviously, around the end of the terminal. Okay, so you're going to go ahead and take your new ring terminal and slide it over the, the stripped part there. And I usually get it just a hair over the, the insulation as well. Then you're going to take your, your crimpers. Again, these are really inexpensive crimpers. They're certainly nicer ones you can use. But these will do the job. And you get them lined up here and then you give it a good solid crimp. Now it's important that you really get this crimped hard. So I use both hands, get a good solid crimp on it. Once you get it crimped, you wanna make sure you've got metal to metal contact and that you cannot pull it off, all right? You give it a good hard tug, make sure you cannot pull this thing off, all right? You wanna make sure it's on there for the duration. So that puts on the ring terminal itself. And then what you wanna do is use this heat shrink to just go ahead and seal it around the end of that. Now, it, the heat shrink isn't absolutely necessary, but it's just nice to give it a nice finished appearance so that the only thing exposed is this ring terminal. Now, normally to, to do heat shrink, you wanna use a heat gun, which is what I have right here, and that does a beautiful job of shrinking it. The problem is, if you try and use just a hairdryer, it doesn't get quite hot enough to shrink um, this marine grade heat shrink. So what you have to use is you have to use a lighter, all right? So I've just taken a lighter here. I'm going to show you how that works as well. You want to go ahead and shrink this up using a lighter. So what you do is just go ahead and get the flame going and you're going to just heat it up, just moving the flame and you can see that it's shrinking up here. All right, you're just going to get it nice and heat it all the way around here and get it shrunk like so. All right, so once you get it shrunk, it'll, it'll sort of form itself to the, to the ring terminal and you let it cool off and again, all the way around you have a nice finished looking product there, okay? Now you don't use the lighter for too long. You don't wanna burn the insulation or anything like that. So you have to be careful what you're doing. But a few seconds of just moving it around, you can melt the heat shrink like that, all right? And so what it does is it swaps from your one quarter inch ring terminal to something quite a bit larger, about 0.41 inches uh, across the interior hole there, all right? So that's how it's done. If you have any questions, please feel free to write me and I'll, I'll try and talk you through the steps. These ring terminals, um, I'll sell them as a pair I tell you what, what I'll do is I'll sell them as a pair with two small pieces of heat shrink as well. So you don't have to go out and hunt them if you don't want to, that'll fit this wire, all right? So you can go to disasterprepare.com and go to the trap page where the automotive protection devices are. And in the drop down menu, you'll see that there are some ring terminals that you can buy as a little kit, a couple of ring terminals and a couple of pieces of this marine grade heat shrink. All right, thank you very much for your time.